And because Kaizen means continuous improvement, that's our company goal and our goal for your sales department and dealership. Now, if you want to improve your sales skills, learn how to use psychology to close more car deals and receive unbiased dealership vendor product and service reviews, make sure you subscribe and then turn on the bell so you never miss out on learning anything new. So Jake, I guess the only question now is do you want to title him Jake or do you want to title him Jacob? I don't know here, Chris. I mean, I came in telling you I wanted five. I'm pretty sure that's five's about where I always wanted to be at. And show me six. I don't, I don't. I don't know if I can do six, man. I understand. I mean, it's it's a large amount of money. Um, I get it. It's <clears throat> it's it's more than you wanted to pay. Let's take a look at what I've got here. Let's take a look at the payment because one thing's for sure. When you leave here today, you're going to be leaving here in a car, and you're going to be leaving here with a payment. Now, you're going to be leaving here in a car that you guys don't really want that much anymore, and a payment you like, or you're going to be leaving here in a car you really like, and a payment, and eh, not so crazy about. So let's do this. Just indulge me for a moment. Let's pretend that you went ahead and purchased this vehicle, or you pulled the trigger on the car. So you purchased it, and then let's do another assumption, another, uh, another assumption. Let's pretend that it's 72 months from now. In fact, let's say it's 73 months from now, and you've paid the vehicle off. So congratulations are in order twice. Congratulations on buying the car, congratulations on paying it off, not everybody gets to that day. So you've been paying these $600 payments for 73 months. You've been paying that to the bank. Now on the, the 70, actually for 72 months, on the 73rd, 74, somewhere in there, the bank has to send you by law a document that they've been holding on to. What document do they normally send you? Title. Title. And it's actually a clear title, as we said. That's why I congratulated you, because not everybody always gets to that. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, the vehicle itself, it, original list was $42,000. Now, that's not what you would pay for it, but that was the original list. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the 72 months, 73 months from now, after the vehicle's totally paid off, what do you think the value of that vehicle is going to be? Twelve, thirteen. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and use twelve. I mean, we could use either, but let's use twelve. That's probably a conservative figure. I mean, it's a good figure. It could be worth more. It could be worth less. But let's use that twelve. Now, if it is worth twelve thousand, that makes this title here a pretty valuable piece of paper, right? Because you could trade it, you could sell it, you could borrow against it. Say, for instance, you got an opportunity to buy some bitcoins real cheap or something of that nature. You could actually borrow against it. To, uh, to go ahead and take advantage of that opportunity. So it's a pretty valuable piece of paper. So let's do this. If you would, figure out what's it, what is 12,000 divided by the 72 months? About uh, just under $167. Okay, so you just want to say 167? Sure. Okay. So or what is that, 166? So then we've got that $600 payment. So take the $600 payment and subtract the 166 if you would. 434. 434. Okay, so what we've got down here now are actually three different payments. So let me explain what each of those three payments are. So this first payment up here, that's the 600. You know about that payment, so we've been talking about. That's the total payment. So that's kind of been the rub here, is not wanting to pay quite that much. However, within that payment, there's actually two payments. There is a payment right here for 434. That's what I call the usage payment. And that's just the price of admission. That's the price of driving the car. That's what depreciates it as a depreciable asset. So that's unfortunately what you don't get back. However, there's actually another payment in there that a lot of people look at as like a usage payment and they don't realize that this 166 was flowing each month, every time you made those 72 payments, 166 was flowing back to the title to create this sort of like residual savings account. So really what it ends up doing is making your payment, your net payment or the uh, total payment is 600. However, your usage payment is only the 434 and you're going to get back 166 times 72, which is 12,000 at the very end. So I know it's a little bit more than you want to spend, but that's why you got to get it because it's got all the equipment you guys want on it. Because it's got all the equipment you guys want on it, that's going to do a couple things for you. One, it's going to have a tour you're going to want to keep the vehicle a little bit longer because you like it, right? And by keeping it longer, you know what happens when you spread the cost out of anything over a longer period of time, right? It brings the cost down. 
So because of that, it'll actually make the vehicle a little cheaper. Plus you're gonna get back 12,000 at the end or 166 a month. It's kind of like a residual savings account. When you say we wrap this thing up and get it out of here so you can start enjoying the truck. Did you want to title it then in Jake or do you think in Jacob? Let's just do Jacob. Okay, let me just have you okay ready. Thank you. All right, thanks. Um,